Welcome. What is a Soyuz rocket? With over 1,700 flights since its debut in 1966, the Soyuz is the most frequently used launch vehicle in the world. When the U.S. Space Shuttle program ended in 2011, Soyuz rockets became the only launch vehicles able to transport astronauts to the International Space Station. Soyuz is a family of expendable launch systems developed by OKB-1 and manufactured by Progress Rocket Space Center in Samara, Russia. A Soyuz U on the launch pad, ahead of the Soyuz 19 launch, on July 15, 1975. The Soyuz rocket's development was ultimately a result of the Soviet Union's desire to keep its foothold in the space race. When U.S. President John F. Kennedy announced his intention to send a man to the moon in May 1961, the Soyuz rocket was the Soviet response. It would, as we now know, outlive all other spacefaring rockets of its era. The Soyuz launcher was introduced in 1966, deriving from the Vostok launcher, which in turn was based on the 8K-74 or a 7A intercontinental ballistic missile. It was initially a three-stage rocket with a Block I upper stage. Later a Malnia variant was produced by adding a fourth stage, allowing it to reach the highly elliptical Malnia orbit. A later variant was the Soyuz U. While the exact model and variant designations were kept secret from the West, the Soyuz launcher was referred to by either the United States Department of Defense designation of SL-4 or the Sheldon designation of A-2. Both systems for naming Soviet rockets stopped being used as more accurate information became available. The production of Soyuz launchers reached a peak of 60 per year in the early 1980. It has become the world's most used space launcher, flying over 1,700 times, far more than any other rocket. Despite its age and perhaps thanks to its simplicity, this rocket family has been notable for its low cost and high reliability. Soyuz Rocket Engines The Soyuz vehicles are used as the launcher for the crewed Soyuz spacecraft as part of the Soyuz program as well as to launch uncrewed progress supply spacecraft to the International Space Station and for commercial launches marketed and operated by Starsum and Ariane Space. The venerable Soyuz launcher is gradually being replaced by a new version, now named Soyuz-ST, which has a new digital guidance system and a highly modified third stage with a new engine. The first development version of Soyuz 2 called Soyuz 2-1A, which is already equipped with the digital guidance system, but is still propelled by an old third-stage engine. Started on November 4, 2004 from Plisetsk on a suborbital test flight, followed by an orbital flight on October 23, 2006 from Baikonur. The fully modified launcher flew first on December 27. 2006 with the Koro satellite from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. On November 28, 1966 the first Soyuz rocket blasted off from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, beginning a remarkable 50-year history that saw it become the, the default vehicle for international space flight. Soyuz 2 ready to launch. All Soyuz rockets use RP-1 and liquid oxygen propellant, with the exception of the Soyuz U-2, which used Sinton a variant of RP-1, with LOX. The Soyuz family is a subset of the R-7 family. Soyuz FG erected at the Baikonur Cosmodrome launch pad 1 5th Gagarin start. As a rocket uses up fuel, empty compartments create dead weight, so Korolev and engineer Valentin Glushko developed a three-stage launch process. Enabled by a five-booster formation that lends the Soyuz rocket its distinctive flared shape. During liftoff the four outer boosters consume their fuel, then detach when they are about 40 kilometers above ground, leaving a central core booster to carry the rocket upwards. Shortly afterwards, the protective shield around the payload and the second-stage rocket are both jettisoned, leaving the third stage. Already 170 kilometers above Earth, to continue firing. 
Once about 220 kilometers high, within low Earth orbit, its last engine detaches and the Soyuz spacecraft continues towards its destination. A Soyuz rocket can take its passengers from terra firma to Earth orbit in under 9 minutes. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.